So there is a problem with our application. The problem is that when we reload, all our data will be lost. Yeah, we will have to add it again. So is there a way we can uh, cache or store persist um, the data that uh, we add to our store? Yes, there is. And there is a, a tool we can use. It's called Redux Persist. So let's do a little search on Redux Persist. Sorry. And learn more about how we can use it. So what it does is it persists and hydrates a Redux store. So it will persist our Redux store for us. So we can use it by installing our Redux persist module and then use the persist store and then persist reducer. Um, so the default uh, local storage uh, is the sorry, the default storage is local storage and we can use that to uh, persist our store and reducers. So let's go ahead and, and integrate it. But according to this, if you are using React, we need to wrap our component, the root one, with persist gate. This delays the rendering of the app's UI until your persisted state has been retrieved and saved to Redux. Note that persist gate loading prop can be now or any re React instance. So let's just go ahead and, and, and implement it so you see how it works. So first of all, we are going to add Redux persist. All right, and then we will first import the persistor and the storage, persistor, persist reducer, and the storage. All right, what do we do next? We need to create the persist config where we pass a key and the storage, which defaults to local storage. Now, we need to uh, persist our reducer. So let's persist. Let's use the uh, persist reducer to persist our reducer. And our reducer, because of what we've done, we will need to change this and create const root reducer and then pass the combine uh, reducers rather to so the returning um, reducer will be the root reducer which we will pass here and we will pass it here as well let's go back so now we will also we will now use the persistent reducer instead of um, the just the root reducer so we will use the root reducer we use the persistent reducer in place of the root reducer so it uses a persistent reducer also we need to persist our store so instead of passing just the store we need to persist the store and pass and pass that instead so Let's persist our store and return the persist store instead. Now, we need also to return the store itself, which means that this won't work. We rather return the persister. And then the store. So the persister is our persisted store, and then the store itself.
all right so let's go over this again so we import persist store persist reducer we persist our reducer using the config here and then the storage and then pass that to our creation of store the persistent reducer in addition to our middlewares then we get our store now we will export our store all right but we will also persist our store and export that as well so we have to make some changes here so instead of we will now copy this that is persist gate which can be found in persist redux persist integration react and then wrap that around our um, component which will come below this so we will we will wrap our so this one still maintains but now that we are um, exporting an object with two variables store and persist that we will import them separately so store and persist and we will use we will use the store still in the provider and then we will also use the persister also here now the persist gate also accepts a loading where we can pass in a loading component but we are going to pass now i hope we are uh well it's telling us that we cannot attend to import persister from here and uh, it didn't work so what well, uh, let's check how we are doing now okay so let's copy this and uh, we put this here remove this remove this yeah and let's see how it is being imported So let me do something and see if we can get all right so okay i'll choose another method since I'm having a, an issue, so we will export store separately. And we will export our persisted store to separately. So we can now import them to, to store and then persisted store. All right. So another thing we need to do is we don't want to persist everything. Sometimes we want to persist specific reducers and not persist others so there is something called whitelisting that we can use so blacklisting and whitelisting where we can 
indicate which state we want to persist so let's say we want to persist only our um, contacts so only the contact state now according to what we've done if we add contact and we reload it should work it should be persisted okay let's add contact let's reload and see if and there we have it we reloaded and we have our contact intact let's add another and we reload and we should have both persisted so that's it if you didn't get it right i'll encourage you to go through the lesson again and if you want more information check out the redux persist documentation and see how you can persist your redux store and reduces using the relaxed redux persist